Guys, here we are. It is game six between NS Hoso Jock G and Acer Nurcio. And down here at the bottom right part of the map in the blue is NS Hoso Jock G playing for the Blue Terran team. For all the Blue Terrans <laughs> out there, he's representing him today. And up here representing all the Red Zergs, it is Acer Nurcio. There you are. Trying to get another win, get himself one game away from winning IPL Fight Club this week. Yes, yes, he is, and this has been such a good set so far, and we still have some games to go, so I hope you guys will stick around and uh, watch this with us. <clears throat> we want to remind you guys as well that starting next week, we're going to have a little bit of a change in programming. Um, so tomorrow, we're not going to have any matches or anything like that. Monday as well, we're not going to have any matches because we are moving to a Tuesday through Saturday broadcast schedule. And uh, with those broadcasts, they're going to be a little bit longer. We're going to have a lot more content, so it's going to be a uh, variety show in the beginning, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific, it could be anything from talk shows to replay shows to Team Rain segments. We'll be announcing all that very soon. Um, and then starting at 5 p.m. Pacific, we'll have the normal games start up as well for Team Arena Challenge 2. So yeah. uh, just so you guys know, we are going to have a lot higher quality stuff as well as we've got a lot of cool new equipment starting to slowly trickle its way into our studio. Yeah, um, it'll be exciting to see those new shows. I, I'm pumped to uh, start working on them. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really awesome. Yeah. So, And uh, the one that I'm really looking forward to, and I hope you guys will tune into as well, is that um, as Jokshi looks like he's going to go command center first here on Calm Before the Storm, um, is actually a power ranking show where we are going to mathematically determine the 25 strongest players in the world and uh, do a very BCS-style reveal each week and talk about those players. So I think cool. that'll be fun. BCS. I'm embarrassed, but I don't know what that stands for. Oh, the uh, the it's it's the college football ranking system. Oh, so. I never really watched yeah, college yeah, yeah, football. Yeah. So yep. So, so no problem, go. no problem at all. But My uh, deep shame. Actually, I'm not too shamed about it. Uh oh. And looks like he forces that SCV off the line for two seconds while he comes back around, takes another hit, uh -oh. and then runs away. This is oh, this gonna is really cute. Oh, oh wow! Oh, down I, uh, to five that, points of health. Yeah, that SCV was so lucky, man. And now, what exactly did Nurcio scout as he was on his way in? Okay, he didn't see the gas, and gas actually came up well before Barracks did here after this expand build. Oh, yeah, so Nurcio may be a little bit off base on what he thinks his opponent is doing right now because mm -hmm. Jokshi is going to be able to get a really fast factory after this. Um, and uh, I would say this would be a great map to do some sort of Banshee pressure on. Yeah, I agree with you. I really agree with you. Um, there is a lot of space here on the outside. Yes, can be watched by Overlords, but uh, good space for not just dropping, but also flying some air harassment units through there as well. Yep, that is correct. And there's that fast factory there for uh, Jock G. If you get the uh, gas before the barracks, of course, you'll have just enough gas to get it right after, to get yep. the factory rather, right after the barracks finishes. So. Yep, yep, yep. Just a little tip for you noob Terrans out there, in case you want to know how to get a faster factory. There you go. Get your gas first. And it looks like it is going to be a reactor following this up. So Okay, so he'll he's going to go into reactor Italians then. Definitely. He'll be continuing his gas production, though, as well. Now, given that he has two bases, his mineral production, of course, is going to be a lot, lot better. Um, but he will have the flexibility to move into whatever he wants afterwards. Wow, actually already putting up barracks number two and three, so really investing in infrastructure and economy here in the early game. Oh, yeah. Yep, he wants to get some sort of early push going, kind of punish Nurcio for expanding as quickly as he did. And if Nurcio, you know, misses things or uh, doesn't see the attack coming or makes around drones at the wrong time, he could really take a lot of damage from whatever sort of early push Jockji is planning to do. I mean, it looks like in this case it's going to be some sort of Marauder Hellion. He might also just be deciding to get Stim really fast and go for, like, Marine uh, Hellion again, but... Either way, it looks like Jokshi wants to get a bit aggressive off of two bases here. Yeah, I, li I like that maneuver as well. Especially, yeah. he's investing in all of his infrastructure up front because he knows he's not going to take pressure. And now he's just going to be able to outright attack his opponent. And, um, you know, it's kind of what we've seen over these past couple of games. Uh, whenever a player is able to kind of take the aggressive, that's when they really have the momentum running their way. Yeah. And so, uh, in this case, it looks like Jokshi's the one who wants to take it back. Yep, that's right. <laughs> And um, I think he kind of wants Nurcio to go for that Roach Warren. Yeah, there's the Roach Warren right now. Because with that many Marines coming out, because there's going to yeah. be three barracks worth of Marines coming out with Stim and Hellions, um, that's going to be pretty perfect against those early Roaches that yep. Nurcio would make. So I Agreed. think to a certain extent, 
Jokchi is trying to kind of play into the style that Nurtio has been doing nearly every game. And uh, actually tried to take out a... That was a cute little maneuver right there. He tried to take out a larva right away. Oh! Ooh, is he going to get a second one here? He's actually denying the production off of this third base for a while. A smart play there I actually, with the uh, Hellions. Yeah, I actually love doing this myself. And you'll see a lot of Terrans do it in the future, I think, where uh, if they run all their drones and everything away from a hatchery, just sit there for a little bit and kill the larva, too. I mean... You can reduce it, especially if it's their natural. You know, just being able to limit their production like that is really helpful early in the game. Yeah, look at how fast wow. Larva died to Hellions. Yeah, and Jachi, his control has been so, so good this game so far, too. He picked off a creep tumor just as it was started um, so that he knew it wasn't going to be canceled. Destroyed that right away, forcing more queens and roaches out at the moment as we see Layer Tech with five yep. roaches on the way. Yep, and uh, Jachi producing three marines at a time. He's going to have a nice little timing here, and he's also going to have medevacs, too. This is going to be something similar to uh, what we saw some Slayers players doing for a while in TVZ, where they would get yeah. those uh, Hellion Marine drop openings where they kind of try to elevate your things into the main. Yeah. Uh, they would incorporate Blue Flame a lot into those, but you can do it just by reactor uh, reactoring out Hellions instead. You'll just have more Hellions in that case. And, uh, yeah, you're definitely right. This is very reminiscent of that build, which we saw quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now two more gas being added in for Jokchi as he is eventually going to need to move over to heavier upgrade and yeah. uh, medevac eventually tank production as well. That so. is a scary push. Look at that. 20 supply up right now for Jokchi. That is some pretty heavy macro there. And those roaches, well, that one's going to be roasted. Yeah, bye-bye. The other ones are going to run as fast as they can. Spine crawlers and more roaches right away going up for Nurchio, but is it going to be enough in time? Look at this positioning, stopping the roaches from moving up so that the Marines could catch up and deal out their damage as well nice. as he runs the hurt Hellions around. That's such good control. Yeah, this is why people say he's one of the best right now in TVZ. And um, yeah, the big question is, can Nurchio defend this third expansion? It's really, really going to be in a lot of trouble here. Oh, and Stim just finishing go. up. He moves in now, and a lot of the roaches are just destroyed immediately not even a chance to do any damage links running in from the back but it's not enough the hellions kill the first wave really really easily and i don't know if nurtio has enough to hold this off yeah he's at least going to lose his hatchery and jockey is not done with him yet he's going to actually run right into the main at this point kill some overlords oh Nurtio wow. badly supply block nice little sandwich here by nurtio but I don't know, there's just so much DPS coming out of the army that Jokchi has right now. Yeah, definitely, and at the very least, a couple of queens are going to go down here as well. Looks like two units were going to work on the hatchery, now being pulled back for the rest of the army. Nurtio yeah. trying to defend as quick as he can, as plus one ground carapace is coming up, and it looks like he may eventually have enough to hold this off, but there's still been so much damage done by this push. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like Jokchi might have actually gotten a little bit too aggressive there. He could have sat there and killed that hatchery. He could have reduced Nurtio to just two bases right now, which would have been huge. But instead, he tried to go for the kill. I think he wanted to end it really early. Look at his minerals, just way too high right now. Um, so a bit of a mistake from Jokchi that didn't quite pan out like he would have hoped. Nurtio lost a lot, but Jokchi didn't really gain a whole lot from it. And we saw the game on Daybreak as well have something similar to that exactly, happen. Yeah. Jokchi tried to run from that third up that ramp into the natural. Yeah, he killed a lot of attack units there, but uh, Nurtio was able to come back. And as we know, it turned into a 40-minute game. Now, Jokchi is a little bit younger player, so sometimes you see him kind of fall victim to that impulsiveness that some sure. of the younger players have a, a, a habit of doing. That Marine is so lucky to <laughs> die right there. All right, guys, I'll be the first to go. Oh, God! Pull me up again, <laughs> pull me up. <laughs> yep. Go back, go back. All right, three base now for Jock G. Orbital commands on all of those, so his economy is going to be pretty staggeringly good. Uh, but Nurtio finds himself in a similar position. He's on three base, tied with his opponent. What's Probably needs to think about right a fourth now. here in a bit. It looks like he is taking out the destructible debris. Yep, nice timing there. Getting drone, the drone there count. right as the rocks went down. 50 to uh -oh. 63. Wow. A little bit low there. He's going to need to take some risks to get back into this game economically. He's going to need to make a lot of drones when he should be making some units, too, to defend sure. these drops. But, uh, yeah, I like this, though. Making a, a macro hatch as well, just making sure he has plenty of larva for everything. That's going to accelerate things a little bit quicker here. But... He's certainly behind right now. Yes, yes, he is. He does have pathogen glands on the way, as you mentioned, a lot of gas. So he will be able to have those ni that nice infester count here in just a second. Drop in the middle of the map. Does uh, clear up a few units there. And this small pack of roaches even. Uh, looks like a couple of those are going to die. Actually, just one before Jokji decides to pick back up. So yep. now let's take a look. We have four more barracks being added. So this would be a... a 
vast majority this is just actually just entirely bio right now uh, he does have good upgrades on the way as well with his fourth base, so he's going to be able to macro quite a bit. But again, Nurtio finds himself in that in that very familiar position, maybe down in supply a little bit, but he's sitting on very high tech with those infestors. Yeah, and he's already shown that he's been really good about using those infestors to stay alive in the game. So, you know, although he is slightly behind right now, I, I certainly don't think that it's a, it's a place where he can't possibly come back from. I sure. mean, he's got a great chance. I definitely agree with you. We're going to need to see some units transferred over to that destructible rock base, though, here in just a second or so, I would imagine, because he is up to 74 drones now, and he will want that optimal saturation. But let's yep. see, 16 more links coming up with Hive Tech. So oh, Hive Tech wow. started a little bit sooner this game than we saw in the last one. Now, Jokji is actually adding on a second factory right now, so he's going to go into a lot of tank production, I'm guessing. Yeah. And that's going to, of course, make, make his pushes that much stronger. It's a nice way to catch up. Oh, oh good fungo catching some of those units. Yeah, catching some of the medevacs oh, as no, well. Infestors. Oh, he's got to back up. Otherwise, a uh, scan is going to destroy him. There's the scan we were looking for. He's going to need a couple of fungal growths just to pin units down so we can make his escape. Yep. 20 supply difference between, or 30 now supply difference between our two players. Eight of that is in uh, workers, actually, the other way. So Nurchio's army is quite a bit smaller than his opponent. Yeah, a bit of a blunder. I don't quite know what he was doing out that far on the map, uh, knowing kind of the position that he was in, and he uh, he certainly paid for it. Looks like that fourth base is going to come under attack here in a second. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, a bunch of bio units running up, but it looks like there's going to be plenty enough there for... Oh! oh. That's a good win. Catching uh -oh. uh, both of those medevacs and going to continue to fungal that. Not a good spot for Jock G to be on. Big loss for him, but he is pushing right up through the middle, though, and starting to kill some creep tumors. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of tanks, too. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, he's going to be making those siege tanks two at once. He's getting plus two bio weapons right now. Um, and, yeah, it looks like Nurtio wants to move into greater spire tech eventually, but first he's going to need to deal with this. Yeah, Is big it be enough? We'll find out. He's got quite a few Zerglings sitting there and neutralized the small amount of tanks pretty well at the beginning of this engagement. But I've got to say, Jokji's reinforcements and just strength of his upgrades right now are so good. And plus two weapons just finished up. About a 30 supply difference for, uh, between our two players right now and actually falling as Nurtio is starting to kind of get overrun to this position. Yeah, it looks like he might barely be able to do no doesn't look like he has enough zerglings coming in here and so now the push from jock is oh. gonna be pretty strong he's 50 supply ahead right now yeah definitely uh -oh. 28 now 32 links making their way out but a bunch of overlords and this base is uh is going to die pretty quickly now i think jock may have figured out his opponent that's yes. kind of what it's starting to look like here this is going to be another win for him for sure yeah, looks like one fungal hits a bunch of units in the back, but there are yeah. so many medevacs here. There are nine medevacs for what, like 15 or a 16 for every horses? Basically, is what it amounts to. But Nurtio is taking a ton of losses. He's now down to 85 supplies, losing two bases at the same time. Can't even hold off this front attack here, and uh, things are looking very, very grim for him. Yeah, 100 supply ahead for our Terran player. Nice little moves at the Infestors, but... That's not going to win him the game, unfortunately. So I think we're going to see this all tied up at 3-3. Yeah, I, I definitely think you're right. This is a very impressive performance in this game from Jokji. Things are going to be all tied up, and we're going to move into game number seven. And we're just waiting on that GG out of Nurtio now. A valiant defense, and it looked like he had an opportunity to try and pull this back, but Jokji's performance, very, GG. very good in this game. There it is.